Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and I am here to review the new Testament album, Titans of Creation, released on April 3rd, 2020. The album consists of 12 songs, and it's about 58 minutes and 34 seconds, according to Wikipedia, but when I was on Apple Music, it said it was 59 minutes, but... Either way, it's a really good album, and I actually think it's their longest album because I was on my phone and on Wikipedia looking at the lengths of their other albums, and this one is their longest album, and it's a really good album though, so I'm not going to be talking about every single song on here, because if I did, I would just be repeating myself over and over, and I don't want to review like that, so... Yeah, I'm going to start off the review with talking about the song called Symptoms, and it's track number 7 on the album. And yeah, this song is really catchy. I really like the grooviness and thrash elements in the song. So, really good. It's a really good song, and one of my favorites on the album. So that's why I chose to talk about it. Just a really catchy song groovy thrashy pretty much a modern masterpiece if you want to call it that so yeah the song symptoms one of my favorite songs on the album really good song so if i had to rate that song i'd give it a 9 out of 10 that's how good it is guys all right next song i'm going to talk about is the song Children of the Next Level, which is the opening track on the album and the second single, because they only released two singles from this album before it came out, which is good because Red's new album, Declaration, they released five singles from a 10-track album, and that was just way too many, but yeah, Testament, they only released two singles for this new album before it came out, so that's good. But yeah, Children of the Next Level, I think it is the better single out of the two. But Night of the Witch, which was the lead single, is good. But I think Children of the Next Level is the better single. But yeah, they're both great singles though. But Children of the Next Level is the best single out of both of them. But yeah, this is a really great album opener. And one of their best album openers, if you ask me. It's just got those heavy riffs, fast-paced it, of course. Fantastic song and another one of my favorites on the album. So that's why I chose to talk about it. City of Angels was a pretty good song. Now, I don't think it's one of their best, but City of Angels was still a good song, and it's song five on the album. Almost seven minutes long, but yeah, it's a really good song, though. Not one of my favorites on the album, like I said, but City of Angels is still good. Within some part of the chorus, it's kind of clean singing-like, but I think Chuck Billy did pretty good on that. But yeah, City of Angels, if I had to rate that one, I'd give it an 8.5 out of 10. And yeah, I forgot to give a rating for Children of the Next Level. If I had to rate Children of the Next Level, I would give that one a 9. So yeah, great songs here, guys. So, I want to end the album with talking about the song... Let's see what song, guys, I want to talk about for the last song before I give my other thoughts on the album. So, I guess I'll go ahead and end off the review with talking about the closing track, Catacombs, now. Song, according to Wikipedia, is only two minutes and one second. It's basically an instrumental with a little bit of sounds in it, but not much. It doesn't have any vocals in it at all, but... Really like the riffs on it though. It's really good. I think it was a pretty good way to end off the album. I'm just glad they didn't put this in the middle of the album because some bands they release instrumentals in the middle of the album and I just think that ruins the album some. But Testament done great by ending off their album with basically an instrumental song. So Catacombs, since it's an instrumental, I'll give it a 7.5 out of 10.
But the album as a whole, a lot of you guys might disagree with me, but I think this is the best metal album of 2020 so far, because I did listen to some other metal albums, of course, throughout the year so far, and none of those are as good as this. This New Testament album is so fucking good. Every thrash metal fan needs to listen to it. If you call yourself a metalhead or a thrash metal fan, then you need to listen to Testament and this new album because it's so fucking good. And I will be listening to this album a lot this year. That's how much I enjoyed it. Fantastic album. And, yeah, one of the best modern thrash metal albums of all time, if you ask me. Great stuff. So, this album, since I do think it's the best metal album of the year so far, I'm giving this album a 9.5 out of 10. So, yeah, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this review. I'm eventually going to get this album on CD. I was going to get it this month in April on CD, but sadly, I didn't have the money to, but I will get it sometime this year on CD, and... When I do, I'll be excited because this album is so fucking good. But yeah, guys, other than that, thanks for watching. Let me know what y'all y'all thought of this New Testament album, Titans of Creation. But yeah, other than that, thanks for watching, and yeah, I'll see you on the next video. Peace.